greetings and salutations. Um, and today we are going to talk quickly about doing the pet menagerie. So you get the pet menagerie at level 100. Um, you can't get it beforehand even if you have the money. You absolutely The quest does not open to get it until level 100. So what's going to happen is you're going to come over here and you're going to talk to Leah the lioness and she's going to bring you. You are a mount. Okay. Um, <clears throat> she's going to talk to you about, oh, there's a bunch of pets everywhere, go fight them, and there's one in the herb garden, there's one near the fishing shack, and there's one, I don't remember where the other one is, it's just kind of in here somewhere, and you have to go fight three pets, um, they're not difficult, they're, <clears throat> they, they each take maybe a couple minutes, um, no real tricks or anything, just notice, just look at the type and then pick your pets accordingly. Really, that's not very difficult. Um, and then, once you're done that, you will come back here and you will start building. And it's really, really easy. Um, the level 2 one, you just have to... I just want to make sure. I believe you have to spend a thousand gold on the blueprints for it. Let's go to the blueprints vendor. Salutations! Yes, 1,000 gold on the level 2 menagerie blueprint. And then... You, uh... Build it. It costs like 50 resources, it's super cheap. And then, that's it for that. And then the only difference really between level 1 and level 2 is, uh... You get more pets wandering around your garrison. So you get 5 right here, and then when you get to level 2, you get a whole bunch just wandering around, so you can see there's a jumping spider, there's an abermoth. They just kind of wander. That one is not mine. And yeah, so they wander all the way around and it's a good time. So level three is a little bit trickier to get. You need to win 500 pet battles in Draenor. And as you can see, I only have 50, so I'm 10% there. Um, but they actually have to be in Draenor. But defeating the Tamers every day does count. There's six. And they are... Whoa, stop that. Okay, so they are... There's one here. There's one in each of the zones except for Tamen Jungle, obviously, and a shrine. So you've got the one in Shadow Moon. You've got one in Spires of a Rock, which is right here. This one actually sells two pets. Um, Let's look it up and I'll show you. So once you've defeated the uh, Arakoa, uh, I don't know if it's he or she, I'm sorry. Um, they will sell uh, this one for 10 gold and this one for 1,000 gold. Um, and yes, I bought them both because I absolutely love collecting pets. And... Um, Right, sorry. And okay, so I have Aspires. Um, Talador. It is right here, right in Nakandun. Nagrand. There, see, I said it properly. It's up here. Kind of hard to get to. Um, this is a level one. The Ring of Blood is a level 100 area in Nagrand. Um, so just follow the path all the way up. And then as soon as you get to him, um, if you run, if you can avoid being dismounted or if you can stealth your way through. It's the easiest way to do otherwise it can be very, very difficult. And Gorgrant is right here. Again, fairly easily fairly easy to get to, and Frostfire is just a little bit south. There aren't any for Alliance, there aren't any horde NPCs nearby, so you shouldn't have that big of an issue getting to it. And same for Horde. I ran to this one tr actively trying to avoid NPCs. I had no issues. So if you're going for Shadow Moon, you're not going to get attacked by NPCs. Um and yeah, so the only really difficult one I found was getting to this one. It's just because the mobs are level 100, level 101. Um, but as soon as you get into Ring of Blood, everyone goes from being um, red in name, so where they will aggro, to yellow, which means they'll only attack if you attack them. So I wouldn't, I really truly would not worry about uh, getting attacked by these guys. Um, if you can just run all the way in, eventually the mobs that are chasing you will give up. And if you can stealth your way in, that's even better. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so, level 3 menagerie. 
will get you um, very special quests, which will net you various pets. I don't know right now if they are dailies or weeklies. I haven't looked that much into it. I imagine they are. Um, they works like a celestial tournament, so you can do it like once a week. And the uh, menagerie. Yeah, so it unlocks it. Oh, it's a daily. Okay, so it unlocks the pet pedal daily unique pet rewards. So you should be able to get, and I believe that is the one called managing the menagerie. Menage. Okay, yes. So you can get mastering the menagerie. That's what it's called. So this is one of the ones you can get. This is one of the ones you can get. This is one of the ones you can get. This is one of the ones you can get. This is one of the ones you can get. This is one of the ones you can get. And this is the Wee Abomination is one of my favorites. But I think I will probably get one of these guys because I enjoy, I, these guys pop up all the freaking time and you're always trying to kill them. So this will be a good time. But yeah, that, so that is everything that you really need to know about the Pet Menagerie. Um, I think tomorrow I'll just go over more achievement stuff and how to get and etc. and all of that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah. For today. Hold on, let's switch to webcam so you don't have to stare at a big black screen for a while. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow I think I'll just talk more about achievements, but that's it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.